Hello everybody. Uh, today we will talk about how we can analyze the Next.js apps bundle to see what are the different parts that are included in the bundle so that we can make optimized decisions. So uh, here you can see a visual representation of what we can expect after we do the things that are described in the docs. So optimizing package bundling. So bundling what does bundling means bundling means let's say you are using five different libraries on your next.js website for different different features and when you are generating the pages what are the different things from the external libraries that are getting included into your bundled website and if you can see that okay this particular package is taking too much space then you can make an inf informed decision of okay i don't want to use this package maybe i want to use a different one how can we do it technically speaking that's what we are going to talk about today uh, so this is the doc that you can follow there is a nice package that is called next bundle analyzer which is specifically created for this purpose it is actually pretty straightforward to use so you just install it and inside your next config file so just to show inside your next config file you import this and create a um basically uh, a configuration and when you are exporting it you just wrap it with, with the configuration so that's basically it and after that you run your build uh, obviously this is not true so if i just make it true then it will be it will create the bundle analyzer output so i'm not going to do that because it is pretty straightforward i want to show you what it generates so that you can understand what's going on here so it generates a couple of things uh, and these, these files will be opened on the browser automatically. You can see we have one client HTML, we have Node.js HTML, we have Edge HTML for some reason it's not showing up. So basically these are the three main outputs, client, Node.js and Edge. Client is the thing that we can get most information out of. So here you can see here are the different chunks. So we have a navbar chunk, we have a navbar mobile chunk we have a bottom navbar the pages right different different chunks for example navbar chunks means these are the things that are included inside the navbar and you can see that inside the navbar we have a react uh, lucid react library that we are using which is taking up most of the space we have some other things as well so radix ui uh, here is another library that we use mantine hooks right so these are the different different things that are getting included in this particular chunk now as you might imagine navbar is a common thing which is a global thing so it gets included in almost every page so it is not necessarily a good thing that on every page you are using or loading these huge libraries so you can look for areas that you can improve uh, let's say just to give you an example let's say manti hooks i don't want to use manti hooks uh, i just use the or write the hooks directly myself so i can remove this manti hooks library and it will be removed from in, in this chunk this chunk and in any other chunk where i am using manti hooks right so that's the basic idea of using a bundle analyzer so the idea is you can analyze the bundle that you generate to see uh, if there is anything that you can do to improve it that's basically it that's the thing that i wanted to go over on in this video this is a nice little tools and you can use this tool to further optimize your next website hope you enjoyed it have a wonderful day bye